Now come May, the Indian film industry will complete a century. And to mark that is a new movie called Bombay Talkies, which has four different stories and four different directors. Anurag Kashyap, Dibakar Banerjee, Karan Johar and Zoha Akhtar. Now the four directors came together to launch the trailer of the movie. Manisha Meldar gets you all the action. This film is for the love of an audience, not for the money of the audience. Yes, for that love we need their money. Filmmaker Karan Johar puts matter over money with his short film. One of the four which comprise Bombay Talkies, a movie that pays a tribute to Indian cinema as it marks its 100 years. Anurag Kashyap, Dibakar Banerjee and Zoya Akhtar are the other three storytellers who have directed a 20-minute short each that culminates into this ode to Indian cinema. Bombay Talkies stars Rani Mukherjee, Randeep Hooda, Saqib Salim and Nawazuddin Siddiqui in prominent roles while Katrina Kaif and Amitabh Bachchan have made special appearances. The film is scheduled to release on the 3rd of May coinciding with the release of India's first film Data Sahib Falke's Raja Harish Chandra that hit the screens on the same day back in 1913. Bombay Talkies is produced by Viacom 18 which is a joint venture operation in India with the Network 18 group. In Mumbai, Manisha Mehaldar. Now coming right back to where we started, we wrap up day one and day two of the Lakme Fashion Week in a little song. Now if you haven't seen it, well don't worry, we get you all the frontliners. It's a heady mix of couture and Bollywood. Take a look. From Bollywood stars to its star directors, the film industry's favorite fashion designer Manish Malhotra got them all together to walk the ramp for his line that was dedicated to the 100 years of cinema. And with that, Malhotra kick-started Lakme Fashion Week in Mumbai on Friday. Leading the star wagon were Karan Johar, Zoya Akhtar, Anurag Kashyap and Debakar Banerjee, the directors of Bombay Talkies. Anurag Zoya and I have made a film called Bombay Talkies. So this was a celebration of the cinema, so it was possible that in the 100 years of cinema, this is a Bombay Talkies platform. Dressed in a vibrant green sari with a hot pink border and newbies Varun Dhawan and Siddharth Malhotra by her side, Priyanka Chopra was Malhotra's showstopper. It's in our blood. It's not just a slice of life, ladies and gentlemen. It is something that we breathe, eat and live. And while Oscar winner Bhanu Athaya and Hema Malini took centre stage, here's who we think was the star amongst them all. Manish Malhotra's favourite, Kajol and Karishma Kapoor too strutted down the runway. Meanwhile, Piggy Chop's little sister Pariniti Chopra walked for the young designer Masaba Gupta. Day 2 saw Shahid Kapoor sport that grungy look as he grinned down the ramp for Kunal Rawal. He's doing some very interesting new stuff which I think would, would excite the younger generation. India-born American designer Naeem Khan, who is known for dressing US First Lady Michelle Obama and Hollywood celebrities like Penelope Cruz and Katy Perry, made his Indian debut. Sitting in the front row in one of his designs was Frida Pinto. It means a lot to me being in India because it's like you know going home, you want to prove to your parents and to your brothers and your sisters that what you do, like look at me what I've done. And it was coming home to Bollywood as well, with stars dominating the fashion week once again. Entertainment Bureau, CNN, IBN.